Hello everyone, I would actually want to give knowledge in this video which is about social engineering. What is social engineering? Uh, we can say something, I am giving you knowledge about what happens on social media nowadays. One common thing happens is phishing attack. What is this phishing attack? I am going to show you something related to it. Phishing attack is something where your, who knows, even your close friend might send you a link which might be something fake. People usually do it on Kali Linux which we are also using here. Uh, I am actually not showing you the exact thing, procedure what we have done but we are going to just show you the highlights of it. You can see here I have started to uh, run the mm -hmm. phishing file which I have actually uh, downloaded somewhere else. All are secret, don't worry. Uh, see yeah, I have uh, uh, used the bash command here to run it. This is a bash file that's why. See it's open. You have various choices there. You can see it out for yourself. There are 21 choices. I will not actually disclose you the options because it's all educational purpose and I don't want anyone to learn from anything from this. The only learning things which you I want people to learn is I'll convey later in the video. Here I'm generating a fake link for Instagram. People whoever gets this link, they, if, they, if someone send it as a friend, your close friend also might send it to you sometimes. See the link is generated which I've highlighted in the video already. It's not zoomed in for specific purposes. I've copied the link. I put it on Google. This is done by major people so that it should look like a act. Uh, it should not look like a fake link. So we use a Bitly short shortener. It's a very famous URL. If you, if anyone sees a link with the name of Bitly, they'll uh, they'll obviously think it's not fake. And see, it's a HTTPS link. So that means it's a secure link. People usually get secure links now. I've taken it. I've copied and I've pasted it here. Remember and see you can see the victim IP. I've already found I've already got the IP address of the victim already. See, it's so amazing. And see here the fake Instagram page is already open. And see, whenever don't type your don't randomly type your uh, account details here. You, if you see the URL top, it's not at all Instagram.com. You can see there's some shit else and you can see there's NG Rock or something and all there's written. That clearly shows it's not real and it's a very fake link. But also if some people even apply their password and even you can see here I've got the account name, I've got the password and it's safely inside my system. Thank you. Hello guys. Now you have seen what all I've done. I've showed you clearly. You can see that HTTPS link is not that secure how much we think. Even I can create a fake link, fake HTTPS link and send it to you. So that's not the only criteria you need to see from now onwards if someone sends it might be your it might come from your very close friend also but who knows if some he only gets hacked and uh, he has uh, someone else has sent it from his name you can't trust it like that so just be careful and if someone sends you a social media account like just check the url if it's exactly like instagram.com or the facebook.com there might be something else because the original names we won't get it like that so just be careful and just look for the urls be very be very very careful fake bank account links can also be created like this and they can just ask your email id password and gone you're gone there they can easily transact money from you and you won't get to know actually so just be careful whenever you do these things it's really important cyber crime is increasing regularly so how many precautionary measures you take it's very good for yourself please be careful thank you and it's mainly for an educational purpose i don't want to teach anyone hacking it's completely educational just to give knowledge.